Hey guys, what's up? I want to make um, a new video talking about WebSockets, but uh, uh, I wanted to dive into an area that we haven't talked about in our previous videos about WebSockets, which is I'm going to reference below, detailing about the pros and cons of WebSockets and applications and the, all the code that we have written, right? But we have not talked about how to do WSS, which is WebSocket Secure. And that's why I want to make this video in order to show you guys how to do WebSockets Secure, or essentially it's just WebSocket over TLS uh, connections. And I'm gonna use uh, a chair proxy to do that. I'm gonna show you how to do that, right? I'm not gonna write any code. I'm gonna reference the code we have done in the previous episodes, right? Where we talked about WebSocket. And here's the code, I'm gonna reference the GitHub repo, and I'm gonna show you how it works, and then slowly we're gonna add a public IP address, and we're gonna add a domain, uh, a public domain that points to the public IP address, and then we're gonna uh, essentially use a certificate to secure my public domain, all that jazz, and then essentially just use WSS because now we're gonna listen to port 443 and all that jazz. So how about we just jump into it, guys? All right, so here, what I have here, are Node.js application that acts as a no, uh, as a WebSocket server, okay? And WebSocket servers, it's very simple. It listens, it hijacks the TCP connection that you make as a first upgrade HTTP request and make use that TCP connection as a bi-directional communication, right? So let's go ahead and just show that part, the, the vanilla stuff and see how this server works, All right? So I'm gonna go ahead and start debugging here. And when I start debugging, I'm gonna listen to port 8080 on my MacBook here, on my machine, which is 127001 or the local IP address. So how about we go to Chrome and consume that? What, that, what this application does is the moment you start connecting to this server, it will essentially have some events and we talked about the, all these events in the previous video, but it will, what it will, what it will do is essentially if you send a message, it will reply back with the same message and it will also sends a message every five seconds. The server sends a message to the server, to the client every five seconds, because that's, that's the beauty of WebSockets. It's a bi-directional system, okay? Right, so how about we go to the client here, and my client in this case, I'm just gonna use Chrome's console here. And if you don't know how to get to Chrome's console, you can go to more tools, developer tool, and this gives you this puppy, right? And I'm gonna write all the code that I need from here because I'm, I'm, a, I'm, an, uh, I'm a simple guy like that, okay? So let's go ahead and declare a WebSocket here. And then what I'm gonna do is WebSocket equal new WebSocket. That's a, a built-in class in every browser. And you can just do WS, which is, stands for WebSocket. Okay, this is the protocol. And then we do 7777 8080. Okay, and when you do that, the browser will send an, the first HTTP request as a plain HTTP GET request with an upgrade header. It's telling, hey, by the way, it's an HTTP request, but I want to upgrade this to a WebSocket connection. And, the, and if the server is smart enough to understand what a, a protocol upgrade is, it will upgrade the, the protocol and return a, a code 101. Was is that 101? I forgot what the return. Switching protocol header status code and switch to the protocol. My server, which I just wrote, is smart. It understands upgrade. So it will actually upgrade the connection. All right, so we'll do that. And let's just listen on a message on the client itself. Say, hey, equal console.log. That essentially means the function, you can essentially assign a function that will be called every time the client receives a message, okay? And then in this case, it's just, hey, you can see, right? Every five seconds, we start getting a message. So again, we're getting these messages from the server. Pretty cool, all right, pretty cool. So if I clear this thing, we'll start getting the message. But if I do ws.send, I can send something to the server. Hello, and I'm gonna say, get your message, hello. Got your message, hello. The server sent back the message, right? So that's WebSocket in a nutshell. Boring, boring stuff, okay? So here's what I wanna do. I want 
to do this as a WebSocket secure. But there are, there are so many layers because this is a, first of all, this is a, a private connection, right? This is on my local machine. So what I have done is, the first step is, I added on my router a rule that says, hey, every time someone requests on port 80 or port 4 for the, on the router, please forward them to this laptop, this local machine, which is Hussein Mac, which is the machine I'm running WebSockets on, okay? So that's the thing we want to do first, okay? I want to forward everything to this public, uh, to this local IP address. So port 80 from the public internet on this public IP address will go to this, this will go to this. This is very critical for the, the, for the next piece, okay? But Hussein, there is nothing running port 80 on your machine right now. And that's true, there's nothing. There is something running on 8080, but there's a beauty part. So how about we go to our beautiful HA proxy, which is a beautiful, badass proxy, right? And I made a video about HA proxy. I made a video about Nginx. I'm gonna make a video about comparing those two proxies and which is better in my opinion, personal opinion. But spoiler alert, I prefer HA proxy, <laughs> okay? So let's go ahead and uh, go to the command prompt and write a config that listens on port 80 on my machine and forwards the traffic to my WebSocket server. How do we do that? Very, very simple. HA proxy supports that. I'm gonna explain how it does that, okay? So obviously we're gonna need to create a config. So I'm gonna create ws.cfg, a config file, it's an empty. I'm gonna create a front end and call it ws. And the mode is HTTP. I'm playing on the layer seven here. And you might say, Hussein, WebSocket is technically, yeah, it's a layer seven protocol, but most of the stuff is a stateful. How do you gonna do that? We're gonna show you how uh, HA proxy is smart and does that very, very intelligently. So I'm gonna create a timeout, client timeout, I don't know, 10 seconds, whatever. That's the time out after which we will give up the connection. That's this. These timers are very important, guys. We're gonna talk about them in a minute. Right, so uh, I'm gonna bind on all ports 80, and I think that's it, right? And the backend, I'm gonna create a WS backend, right? And let's do a default backend here is the WS backend, right? Just point this guy to always to go to this guy. And what is the backend here? Well, you guessed it, guys. It's a server that is named S1, whatever. You can create multiple S1 uh, S servers here. And it's on port 001, uh, 127001, okay? And it's listening on port, you guessed it, 8080. Nice. We need some timeouts here. Timeout uh, connect. How long should I wait before I give up connecting to that backend server? Okay, ah, 10 seconds, whatever. And timeout, uh, server. And this should be really high, okay? Ah, we can put it 100 seconds. This, this is the timeout after which, if I didn't receive anything from the backend, which is this guy as a HA proxy, if it didn't receive anything from this guy, kill it, all right? So let's do that. And let's test this out, guys. Let's test this out, right? So let's go ahead and do HA proxy dash F WS to CFG. And we gotta get yelled at because we didn't we forgot to do the mode for we forgot to do the mode on the server. Yeah, it's an incompatible mode. Both of them are playing on the HTTP layer here, on the on the layer seven. So if I do this now, it's working. It's listening on port 80, right? So technically, any request, HTTP requests, right? Right? Anything that goes into this port, port 80, will be forwarded to 217, including WebSockets requests. So let's, let's test that out. So now, if I do this, 
right? And instead of doing 8080, I can do this, right? Because port 80 will be forwarded to port 8080, right? On the back end, okay? And this will be clarifying in a minute. This is the local because HA proxy is running locally. So that I would assume this will also work, right? And what happened here, guys? What exactly happened? My client, which is the browser, sends a GET request, says, hey, I want to upgrade the connection. It's a HTTP request. HA proxy detected that and says, oh, it's a normal HTTP request. So yeah, I'm going to do a load balancing on the back end. But wait a second. There is an upgrade header there. Okay. I don't know if we can see it actually. There you go. So we give, but we made a request, right? That's the request header. I want to upgrade the connection. And look at that. I want to upgrade the connection. And the server replied back with switching protocol 101. Okay. So this did work. HA proxy did establish the connection. But here's what HA proxy also does. So HA proxy, remember, as a layer seven proxy, it terminates the connection, right? between the client and itself and establishes a brand new connection and plays with those in the back end, right? As a round robin or based, based on the back end load balancing algorithm, okay? But here's the problem now. WebSocket is a stateful protocol, right? So an HA proxy knows that. So it says, okay, once I upgrade the connection, I'm gonna hook you up with one TCP connection. There is magic there. I don't know what is going on, but if I'm going to guess, I'm going to, there will be a NAT table that says, hey, this client IP address always goes to back to this connection. So you're always connecting to one server and one server only. Okay. Because you cannot, every web socket connection, not connection, every web socket request, right, doesn't, that shouldn't go to another server. Otherwise, the whole thing is going to blow up, right? Because other, other back end servers, servers could be used for other stuff as well. So let's just test this thing in message equal console.log. And you can see that it's, it's just normally working. Okay. Cool. We have port 80. Okay. Running. Still, this is boring. That comes back to our public IP address. What is my public IP address? You can just Google it. You can just say IP and it will tell you the public IP address. That's my public IP address, right? In this case. So if I do this and I put my public IP address and I give you this right, right now, this second, because that's my public IP address on this second, right? Guys, you can do this on the cloud as well, right? But I just like to break things down into its smaller smallest pieces and understand everything right i don't like magic okay and that that works too and that's the step we're one we're one step closer to the final goal to do a wss all right i like to explain everything guys and if i do the a test Look at that, it works. And if I do this, if my, for example, I have my phone supports WebSocket as a client, I can do this today. Anyone now with this URL can do this, right? Take it one step further, guys. If I have a domain, which I did create this domain, this no IP domain, it's free thing, that points to my public IP address. So this is, the domain is just literally a pointer, a DNS entry that points to this. It's an ugly domain, but who cares, right? My WebSocket site, the DNS.net. So if I go here and I do this and I say, pushed, so you can see. If I do this, that works too, because that domain is also pointing to my public IP address, which points to my router right? And says, okay, port 80, because WS, right? We're still unsecure here, insecure. The port 80 on router points to my HA proxy port running on port 80. HA proxy looks at that and says, okay, this is port 80. I'm supposed to forward it to this thing, 127 port 8080, which is my code here. And this is all happening, right? This is all happening right now. Okay. I do that console.log and you can see I'm receiving the messages. Final step, 
Final step, how about we secure this thing, guys, okay? I am not going to go through the process of creating the certificate because I have done this so many times. Again, ch check out the Nginx proxy, uh, check out the HA proxy, and I, there is a specific way of creating a certificate using the Let's Encrypt uh, Certificate Authority. And I have already done that, and I have generated a file, right, which is my certificate public key and private key on the server, and that will be enough for us to actually secure my server. So let's go back to the terminal, kill this thing yeah, right? And I'm going to W, this is my certificate, my websocket site.pem. Again, refer to the video to know exactly how I generated that. But once I do that, CFG, okay? What I want to do here is listen to an additional port. And what is the secure version of HTTP, guys? Which port is that? That's right, it is 443. And to HA proxy, this is just another port. You have to tell it that, by the way, this port is special because it is an SSL port, okay? This is where I'm gonna do the sec secure circuit layer or TLS, right? This is, this is just legacy stuff. They cannot just change it all out of the blue. So that's why they have to say it's SSL. That's why you have to say it's SSL. And then you have to tell me which certificate. SSL is not enough, right? Because well, who are you as a server? I need to trust you, All right? This this is why we have a certificate authority to begin with. And where is my certificate? It's in their users, Hussein Nasser, HA proxy, and hopefully I can remember it. My websocket side of PEM, okay? And that's it. I'm not gonna play with HTTP2 yet, ALP and all that stuff. So this is enough for me. Still, let's play on H1 because it doesn't really matter because WebSocket is its own protocol, right? And save. And if I do HA proxy dash F WS dot soft J, you can see I'm gonna get yelled at saying, hey, this certificate that you generated is actually a Diffie Hellman, but the Diffie Hellman is actually, I, I think it's just setting to 1024, which is weak. Maybe you wanna upgrade that. Um, and that's that's easy. We can set that tune that, but I don't really care because my side, my side is shady anyway. Okay. All right, guys. How about we test this thing? Final thing. Okay. So now my WebSocket technically is secure, so I can do this. I still can do this. That works. See, it's not yelling at me. But I can also do this. WSS and what WebSocket client will do. Okay, you want to WSS protocol. That means um, the default port for WSS is 443. So I'm going to try to connect to W on 443. It's going to ask the DNS, get the public IP address, which, which is my router IP address. And then it's going to establish a TCP connection, okay, to 443, which is on my router. And there is a rule, remember, 443 forwarded to 443 on my MacBook, which is running HA proxy, which is listening on port 443, which is a secure, secure TLS beautiful stuff. So if I do that, it works. And now you're secure, babes. You're all secure and you're safe. Okay, that's creepy. And look at that, works. And now this is how you do WebSocket secure, guys, okay? <laughs> it's funny how I made this video because I I was researching the gRPC video and how to do that, and that thing is a beast, and <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not I'm not ready to make a video about that. But I, I started comparing it with WebSocket because it's very analogous to these webs, uh, to these protocols, it REST, and, and then, well, REST is not a protocol, but sure. Uh, yeah, so... REST and uh, GraphQL and WebSocket and gRPC, they are all related. So it's like, it's like let, me, let me just make a video for you guys for this Friday, I don't know, which is 27, whatever, right? And then uh, talk about just WebSocket Secure and talk about a little bit of how WebSocket works. And then maybe next week, we're gonna talk about gRPC when I'm ready, okay? When I'm a little bit more educated about the topic. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like. And I'm going to see you on the next one. You guys will stay awesome.